kids, welcome back to another episode of Calon Kids. I hope you have had a fantastic week. This week we are going to make some little piggies. So go and get your stuff ready and then I'll tell you all about the exciting parable of the lost son. So this week's parable of the lost son can be found in Luke 15. And it's a story of a man who had two sons. And one day, one of his sons came to him and said, Dad, can I have my part of the inheritance? Now, do you know what inheritance means? Let me explain. When somebody passes on, when they die, all the things that they own, like maybe a house or a car or their clothes, everything that they own gets added up, the worth of it, and gets sold. And then whatever money all that makes, is divided up amongst their children. So this son was asking his father, even though his father was obviously clearly alive, he said to him, Dad, can I have my inheritance now? So what the father did was he worked out how much everything was worth, how much his farm would be worth, how much all his animals would be worth, how much everything that he owned. And then he worked out, because he had two sons, he worked it all out and gave the son half of what the father was worth, as if he had passed away. The son had all this money. And so the Bible says in the story that he moved a long, long away to a foreign land. And there he had the most, the, he spent the most money on houses and parties and he shared it with friends. He had a really, really partying lifestyle. But soon, as you may know in school, if you've got a big bag of sweets, all of a sudden everybody wants to be their, your friend, don't they? They want to share your bag of sweets. But as everybody starts eating your sweets and there's no sweets left, soon all your friends start to go and play with their friends again, don't they? And that's exactly what happened to this son. He had had a big party, he was enjoying life, buying what he wanted, going where he wanted, and slowly but surely, the money started to run out. And in the end, he had nothing left. Even his friends, the Bible said, left him because he had nothing left of the father's inheritance. He had to go get a job now because he had no money. So he found himself working on a pig farm and that's why we've made some pigs. He had to go work on a pig farm and in the end he ended up actually staying there and eating what the pigs ate. Now if you know anything about pigs, pigs will eat anything. Rotten food, absolutely anything. And you hear the sun was after having loads and loads of money and being able to do what he wants, here he found himself living and sleeping with the pigs and actually even eating what the pigs were eating because he had nothing left. During that time, the Bible says he came to his senses. In other words, he sat there and he was thinking, what am I doing here? Even my father's servants, those that work on his farm, are much better off than me and eat better than me and sleep in nice comfy beds and here I am with the pigs. He said to himself, I know, I'll go back to my dad and I'll say, look, I tell you what, I'll come back to the farm and I'll work like one of your servants, like one of your workers. And so up he got and he went back towards the farm. Now Luke 15 tells us in the story that even when he was a long, long way off, the father saw him. So in other words, the father had been looking out for him to come back any time. And when he was a long way off, the father recognised him. And as the son was walking towards his dad, probably kind of practising what he was going to say and how he was going to say sorry, the father came running towards him, gave him a big, big hug. So unexpected because the son, I suppose, was expected to get a big row. But instead, the father put his arms around him, gave him a big, big catch. He ordered all his servants to make a big, big party. 
and to have lots of big juicy steaks. He got a robe, a special coat and put on his son and he put a special like family ring on his finger as well. And his father was so excited and said, my son who was lost has now been found. He's back with me. And the son didn't need to go back as a servant. He went back in as his rightful place as his son. And the lesson of the story is no matter how far away we move from God, no matter if we ignore him, even if we do things that he doesn't like, God is always looking out for us. And no matter how far away we are from him, the minute we start returning to him, the minute we start coming home, he is going to come running towards us, give us big, big cutches and put us back in our rightful place as his child, as his son or his daughter. And the story goes on to say there was great, great rejoicing. And that's exactly what it would be like in heaven. When you have done your own thing and when you have decided to come back to God and say sorry, all of heaven will have a party and will celebrate that you've come home. The father said the son that was lost has now been found again. So we're going to make a piggy for our craft today. I've got two. So by the time I finish, I'll have three little pigs and we're going to make this now as a reminder of how far the sun had gone. So I've used a paper plate, but if you haven't got a paper plate, don't worry about it. You can just cut out a piece of card. So draw around a normal plate and cut a piece of card. Now I'm going to cover it with tissue paper, but if you want to, you can paint it, you can colour it, whatever you want to do. So I'm just going to cover it in glue and then I'm going to stick my tissue paper all over the paper plate. So rip bits off and stick it down onto the glue. Now we need to cover the whole of the plate in pink because obviously that's the colour that we associate with piggies, even though they'd probably be covered in a lot of mud too, wouldn't they? And be really dirty. So once you've covered your plate with tissue paper, we're now ready to put on all the bits of the pig. Now I've got a piece of pink card. If you haven't got pink card, again, you can paint it or you can colour it, whatever's easier for you. Now we need two legs, so I'm just going to cut a strip for the legs, one, two, then we need two ears, so you can draw these on if you want, I'm just cutting them out freehand ears, so there's one ear, two ears, and then we need his nose or his snout, so that is like an egg shape, and again you can draw it on and then cut it out, or you can just cut it out freehand. Now, with the legs, what we're going to do to make them, as you can see, they're like little bendy ones at the bottom. We're going to make a fan. Do you know how to do that? So you take your piece of card and you fold one towards you, then away from you. Now, you might need a grown-up to help you if you're not quite sure what, how to make a fan. But you go fold towards, fold away, fold towards, fold away. And you keep doing that until you get to the end of your cardboard and then you have that sort of shape for the legs so you do that on both of them then you need to glue your legs to your little piggy so just put a little bit of glue on there and stick it to the bottom of your cardboard or your plate then we're going to stick his ears so a bit of glue on the ear so there our piggy has two legs and two years. Now for his nose, because a pig's nose has got like a snout, doesn't it? It sticks out of his face. What we're going to do is we're going to make like a little uh, tube to stick his nose onto. So get a piece of paper, white paper, and make a little tube. So what you need to do is cut a little white piece of paper like that, glue one side so that you make a tube. Okay, can you see that? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut little strips down on both sides of that paper. Don't cut it all the way down to the middle. You're just cutting the top and then you're just cutting the bottom. Like I said, don't cut all the way through, otherwise you're going to cut your whole tube up. Then with your tube, just push the sides down into the middle 
so that you're making like a cylinder with closed ends. Do you know what I mean? Maybe get a grown up to help you, but you should end up with something like that. I don't know if you can see it against the white with cardboard on both sides, because then what we're going to do is we're going to put glue on one side and stick it down onto our plate and glue on the other side, which we are then going to stick his snout to. Hold it down because the glue might take a little bit of time just to stick. And there you can see his nose now sticks out from his face a little bit. Now for his eyes, I've got some googly eyes in my little box here. So I just need to choose two to stick on. Now if you haven't got googly eyes, again, you can paint them on, you can draw them on a piece of paper and stick them on later. So I'm just going to stick his eyes here above his snout. And then for his tail, now you can make it out of cardboard and do the folding again, or I've got a pink uh, pipe cleaner here. So all I'm going to do with the pipe cleaner is I'm going to bend it round my finger because, as you know, pigs have little curly tails. And then I've got a piece of cellar tape here that I'm going to use just to stick my curly tail onto my piggy. And there he has a curly tail too. Now the only thing that's left for me to do to finish my piggy off is to colour in his nose because he'll have two nostrils. You can draw in the middle of his ears and put on his trotters onto his bottom of his feet as well. And then our little piggy is finished. So I hope you've enjoyed the story. I hope you will go and read it in Luke 15 and I hope that as you've made your little pig that it will be a reminder to you that no matter how far away from God you go, he will always be looking for you, he will always give you a big catch and he will always celebrate and have a big party when you come back to be God's friend. Have a fantastic week and we'll see you again next Saturday for another Call on Kids. Bye!